Hello, my name is uh, Sean McCarthy, and this is a short presentation about the 2018 uh, to 2020 uh, work programs of Horizon 2020. Uh, the first calls in Horizon 2020 were based on the 2014 and 15 work programs. Then we had the 2016 and 17 work programs, and now we have uh, the 2018 to 2020 work programs, and these will define the calls five, six, and seven. Now, the next program is, hasn't got a name yet, but for the moment, let's call it Framework 9. And the preparation of Framework 9 started at the beginning of 2017. Now, the last calls of Horizon 2020, call six and seven, will be a testbed for Framework 9. So it's absolutely essential that you're aware of the kind of debates that are going on about Framework 9. It also took two years to prepare the 2018 to 2020 work programs. So when you're writing a proposal, you must understand who wrote your topic. Now, the priorities of Horizon 2020 uh, are making Europe leader in science. That's pillar one. Pillar two is about making Europe leader in technology sectors. And pillar three is about addressing real society challenges. And of course, making Europe leader in strategic sectors like energy, transport, food, and so on. These continue in the 2018 to 2020 work program. Now in 2014, the president of the European Commission published the famous Juncker plan and you can see the priorities on the following slide. But the main message was that when Europe spends money, it wants to see real impact. Economically viable projects with real added value. And of course, it wants smart and efficient use of European funds. Now, I think this has become the mantra of any organization receiving uh, European funds. With the new commissioner, Mr. Moides, and his idea for Framework 9 is open science, open innovation, and open to the world. But he's also promoting the concept of the European Innovation Council. And in the 2018 to 2020 work program, you can see there's a pilot for this. So this is a real test for the Framework 9 uh, program. In 2016, we had the Brexit vote, the United Kingdom voting to leave the European Union. And with Mr. Trump, election in the United States. And it, this brought home to the European Commission the, the, the lack of contact between European programs and the citizen. So in these programs now, we see stimulate co-design, co-creation through citizens' involvement and the role of society in research and innovation. Now, we see this in things like multi-actor approach. So it's important when you're doing projects, especially in Pillar 3, that you involve representatives of society in your, in your proposals. In 2016, the United Nations published what was known as the Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 goals and 169 targets, and this is an example of, of the first seven of them. Now, if you're putting in a proposal, especially in Pillar 3, and if you're not referring to the specific goal in your proposal, I cannot see how you're going to be funded. So this is a, a, a whole new uh, requirement of proposals in Pillar 3 and also in Pillar 2 when, when appropriate. Now in 2017, a midterm review was undertaken of Horizon 2020 and this is actually the official start of the planning uh, for Framework 9 and there was also a report published called the LAMI report. So let's see what were the main messages from these reports. They're happy with the structure of Horizon 2020, Pillar 1, Pillar 2, and Pillar 3. They want to increase the share of funding directed towards the Sustainable Development Goals. So there it is in black and white. And they also want society to become a living lab. So we're, now living labs is a concept that comes from social science, but this has to be adopted in, in, in technical projects also. Now, so if you want to be successful in Horizon 2020, you know, the best ideas, best par science, best partners, you must have a thorough understanding of the background to the topics. You must understand 
the procedures and most importantly the evaluation process and you can see the importance of support services in helping scientists with these now that's one strategy but when i visit the top centers in europe this is how they think no they say horizon 2020 is about funding the development of excellent science it's about promoting our reputation among our european partners the new challenge is to have real and visible impact of the results and the ultimate goal is also to have professional support services so the scientists can concentrate on the science and the support service uh, can help them with the non-scientific parts of their proposals so that's it i hope that information will help you with your uh, proposals to 2018 uh, to 2020 programs and thank you very much for uh, for listening Thank you.